Thanks. At this time, the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union and the Iowa Farm Bureau would like to recognize the outstanding sportsmanship shown by Marquette Catholic High School and Clarksville High School. In recognition of the importance of good sportsmanship, each state qualifying school is asked to nominate a spectator who represents their school and community in a sportsmanlike manner. Karen Brown of the IGHSAU will present each nominee with a certificate of recognition and a $250 check payable to their school scholarship fund. Please join us in honoring these individuals whose decorum and respect for others serves as a model for all spectators attending interscholastic events. From Marquette Catholic High School, Emily Close. about the experience playing here. I mean, you guys are going down in history. Yeah. No matter the win or loss, as the first team in school history to come to the state tournament for girls basketball. So kind of talk about that. Yeah, it's just crazy. Like, we walked in, and it's so big, and, like, it's so cool. I don't know. And, like, it would have been nice to get the win, but it's exciting to know that we still have one more year to 
try and get here and win next season. Yeah, and then you finished with 20 points and 11 rebounds for a double-double. So kind of talk about just your individual performance and kind of what your mindset was out on the court today. Yeah, um, more towards the end, I we were just like trying to drive and get quick points because we needed that to get back in the game. So I think that's where like a lot of the points came from. Yeah, and then talk about the season as a whole for Clarksville and kind of what you get, what you enjoyed most about being part of this year's team. Um, yeah, we had a really successful season. Like, you know, it's been nice to win, but. Uh, it's just been really fun. Everybody's really close, so I think it's just like our teammates make it fun, and that's why we do good. You did a really good job in the first half with your guards. It's got to be tough when you game plan, take away something, and they hit you. Right, you know, you got to tip your cap to uh, Mark and Cap. Uh, they've been down at the state tournament seven times. It's our first time down here, and the girls are continuing to learn every single time they stick, take the floor. Um, and, you know, our game plan was to be quicker, uh, especially the defensive end, and I thought we were. Um, got around their bigs, poked, poked the ball loose a few times. We just didn't convert on the other end like we're, we're used to doing. It. And uh, you got to give credit to their guards. Stepped up. I they have four or five threes. Um, you know, that, that was a big three right out of the halftime. You talked about us being a third quarter team. They came out and punched us a little bit. We just kind of never recovered. We were wobbling. And, and uh, you know, it is what it is. And, and once again, give them credit. They're a good basketball team. And uh, we controlled everything we could control. We can't control how big we are. So it's just uh, the way the ball falls. Thanks, Coach Richard. Thank you. And then kind of talk about the change in momentum there. And I think it was probably the second quarter when things kind of shifted. I mean, you guys came out and were by far way stronger than what it was in the regional final game. So kind of talk about the start and kind of how things kind of went back. You know, that's a focus for us. It's a big time focus. You know, we, we hit two threes in the first half maybe, and um, that really kept us in the ball game. Uh, you look at their three-point percentage. They were shooting at 21% on the season from behind the arc. And tonight they shot it extremely well. That's what happens down here at the state tournament. Mm -hmm. um, teams do things differently. Different girls step up, make big shots, and I, you know, they, they made four or five big threes tonight, and that was the difference in the game. Yeah, and then talk about getting to be down here. I mean, Clarksville had a pretty good crowd for the first time to kind of witness that piece of history. Right, it, it means a ton for this community. Um, making history is what these girls do. Um, and they're going to continue to do that. They're a driven bunch, and um, you know this uh, group of four um, juniors that are now seniors are as determined as ever to get back here. We're excited to see what this offseason brings. Absolutely, and then yeah, like you said, most of the team returns. Um, kind of talk about the senior class and kind of their impact. I you know talked about in the locker room. I can't say enough about what the seniors have done. Mallory and Darian have really exemplified what it means to be a great person first, and then that carries over into their development and their basketball skills. Um, they're very bright individuals. They're going to do great things no matter what they decide to do in the future, and and um, we're going to miss their leadership. Um, but the, t the torch has now been passed on to our juniors, and they're now going to be become seniors next year. And then kind of talk about any maybe key players or just a part in the game when you guys kind of thought Marquette Catholic was kind of really making a run for it. Um, well, at this point in the season, every single one of our players is a key player. Um, but I think that they just made more threes than we did. They made more shots. They're shooting at 21% coming into the game, and, and they shot probably – 45% from behind the arc tonight, or I don't even know what it was. I guess I have it right here. But, um, they they shot it 50% from behind the arc tonight. <laughs> so that's obviously outstanding. And us being down here for the first time, trying to get used to the depth of perception, it makes a difference. It really does. Yeah, and then as you kind of look back on the season as a whole for Clarksville, what kind of makes you most proud? Everything. <laughs> uh, you, you can't really pinpoint one thing exactly that, that makes the community proud, that makes the coaches proud, that makes the players proud for playing the game. They just do everything right all the time. And uh, 